Oh, what is up, everybody? It's me, the On Weeb here, back with another episode of What If Naruto Was an Alchemist, Part 7. Uh, two weeks ago, we had Part 6 come out, which was the Naruto versus Neji fight. You guys liked that. It's got, currently, I'm looking at it, it's got 265 views, almost 30 likes. That's looking good. Uh, Avatar is, had a part a week ago, so I decided I'll make a, a continuation to Part 7 of this What If. So thank you guys. Continue to keep supporting. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment any suggestions down below. The next like new one won't be coming until I get to like finish this in Avatar, which will be soon. After this week, this weekend I'll be getting back on the video grind. I was kind of dipping into music for a little bit. I was testing some stuff out. Those won't be coming out daily anymore. I'll be working on them a little bit more. I had those three over a while that I've been working on, so but yeah, let's, let's get into what you came here for. What if Naruto was an alchemist? Part 7. Last time, since it's been a while, Naruto defeated Neji and then helped Neji up to realize that destiny wasn't constraining him to his fate. Then, Naruto went to the stands and let Sasuke have his time of glory. Now, let's get back into the story. Sasuke r walks into the stadium, barely on time as Gaara is getting in impatient. Kakashi gives him a thumbs up and tells him to do his best. Sasuke, being cold, looks over his shoulder and makes a k sound. He then walks over into the stage and slides down the wall, just like he did in the original. Him and Gar begin their fight. Sasuke, activating his Chidori, begins to make bird noises out of his hands. Then, as he, throw he begins to fly down the wall, he runs at a fast pace. As he begins speeding up as fast as he can down the wall, Gar creates his sand shield. Then, Sasuke shoves his hand into the ball of sand and completely shatters it in half hitting Gaara and causing him pain. This enrages Gaara and Gaara begins to fight seriously against Sasuke. Sasuke, who has activated his Sharingan at this point, is seriously fighting Gaara as well. They're going bolt blow for blow, Sasuke dodging all of his sand coffins so that way he doesn't die, and Gaara becoming more and more ludicrous with rage. As Gaara and Sasuke continue to fight, Naruto slowly notices something different in the air. As he continues to feel it, he, he notices the same at the time as Kakashi, as a genjutsu begins to fall over the entire stadium. At this point, Sasuke and Gaara leave the stadium as Gaara has gone into his Shukaku form. As, Shuka as Shukaku Gaara runs out of the stadium, Sasuke follows him behind uh, as fast as he can. Then, Naruto looks at Kakashi and Kakashi tells him to go to help Sasuke. Naruto, who isn't affected by this genjutsu, as his intelligence is far higher in this timeline and he isn't affected by most things besides high-level genjutsus like the Sharingan and, you know, the infant Tsukiyomi and things like that. Uh, Naruto then rushes out of the stadium while Sakura continues to wake up the other Genin. Once Naruto g g leaps out of the stadium, he uses his alchemy and he f pushes his hand on the ground. He creates a big, st a large, like, steep, um, uh, a large cliff that he walks up of. And then once he gets to the top of the cliff, he jumps down. He continues to run after Sasuke, dodging from tree to tree. When the sand ninja who were waiting for him obviously pop out, he takes them out and dispatches them with ease, continues to follow Sasuke and Gara. He gets there around the same time he does in the original, actually, and Sasuke and Gara are still fighting. Sasuke is on the losing end, and Gara is only getting stronger from Shikaku's chakra. Naruto leaps into the fray. As Naruto leaps into battle, he then tells Sasuke on his left. Sasuke dodges just as, Nar as Gara is about to hit him in the face of a hard punch that would have killed him. Naruto grabs Gaara's hand with his op extended palm, and as soon as he does this, Gaara's eyes widen as his entire Shikaku arm just evaporates and disappears. He's scared of what just happened, his entire arm just got particleized, and then suddenly, it reforms in Naruto's hands and he throws his arm back at Gaara. Gaara in rage reforms his sand arm and begins to fly, fall, fight wildly to at Naruto. Naruto dodges from tree to tree, and with his, his uh, metal arm, the executioner arm, he then makes his sh uh, sh he then uses alchemy to turn it back into a blade arm instead of his normal hand that he uses to normal life for eating and things. Naruto turns into a blade and then charges at Gara. His hand seeking for blood, the executioner's blade, which has been searching for it for so long after being damaged in the fire of Neji, finally tastes it. He slashes Gara's cheek and blood drips out the side of it. Gara screams and looks at Naruto, his eyes widening as blood veins begin to pop in his forehead. Naruto turns around as his hand begins to heal and becomes stronger and more durable. After absorbing Nar uh, Gara's blood, then the hand becomes stronger. At this point, his blade is sharper, stronger, and he looks at Gar and tells him if he doesn't give up this needless violence, then he'll have to stab him again if he doesn't stop. Gar at this point just gets more enraged and begins to grow bigger in his Shukaku form. 
Naruto pulls kunai out and then starts throwing him into the air. The kunai began evaporating midair and then appearing right back in Gar's face, causing it much t terrible time for Gar to try and dodge these. Then, Naruto takes advantage of this and begins to fight harder with Gara. Gara and him get into a huge fight, as suddenly Gara turns into his huge Shukaku form. Naruto, who begins to fight using higher scales of alchemy, grabs Shukaku's leg and with both hands and begins to uh, disintegrate it. He can't. He's disintegrating as fast as the sand is reabsorbing into the Shukaku form. When Sasuke gets back up and begins to help Naruto, Naruto and Sasuke, with electricity flowing off both of their hands, continues to fight and climb against the Shukaku monster. Naruto uses his alchemy and then summons the ground beneath him. He grabs Nar uh, Gar's leg and sends the, the energy through his hands to the bottom of the ground. As he does this, he pulls up the energy. And with it, he pulls the ground. The ground shoots upwards into a spiral tower, and Naruto is standing on the very top. Gar, enraged, hits his hand into the side of the tower, causing the stone monument to fall to the ground. Naruto, at this point, is fl flying through the air as he's jumping up. Out. He jumped off to the top of it and is landing almost towards Gar's, where his actual body is. Shukaku's p pretty pissed off at this point and then hits Naruto. Sasuke sees this and Naruto's body goes flying. As he goes flying, Naruto blacks out and then he reawakens in a red energy. At this point, his lightning is turned into a red form as he uses alchemy. When he uses this, he morphs his chakra and uses alchemy combined with it to create a new attack. He clasps his hands together and then grabs the chakra that he has surrounding his body and forms it together into a small and spherical object. He then po poises his hands forward towards the Gara Shukaku form and says, Be gone. All of the tracker he had surrounding it in his body that he could master was then condensed into that small space as he used to create it. His this attack that he's calling is called Chakra Black Hole. At this point, he actually has condensed the chakra to the point where it causes a miniature black hole. It starts to absorb all of Gara and Tsukaku when Sasuke tells Naruto that he'll, he'll get him. He tells uh, Naruto tells Sasuke to save Gara, and Sasuke with Chidori slices Gara out of the sand figure and jumps to the ground. The black hole finishes absorbing the rest of the Gara uh, leftovers of the Shikaku form. Naruto then takes his hands and puts them together and says, "Finish." He then uh, activates his normal lightning as the red chakra is gone for, through alchemy, and the black hole disintegrates, deactivating. Naruto feels immensely drained as he's never tried to pull a scale of the alchemy that high before. He begins to fall to the ground as he, gravity begins to take back over from his black hole's gravity. Sasuke isn't able to catch him in time, but luckily Sakura and the rest of the Genin arrive. They all catch they catch Naruto together in a big heap, and Naruto's passed out cold. He hit uh, he accidentally hit um, he accidentally hit Sakura in the head with his metal arm on the way down as well. So now she has a big bump and she punches Naruto in the head for her and tells her and tells him that she's gonna get him back for that. When they all head back to the village, Naruto's beginning to wake up a little bit. He's feeling drained and his chakra's low, but he's happy that he could help win. Once he gets back, they hear the fight of the third Okage, as the Gara fight went much faster in this timeline than the original. When, they, when Naruto sees the third Okage in battle against Orochimaru, he can only say in his garbled, hard, hard raw voice, No, old man. As he reaches his hand out before it falls back and he blacks out. Naruto wakes up a few days later in the hospital. At this point, Jiraiya is standing in his room watching over him. When suddenly he wakes up and asks what happened to the third Okage and the rest of the village. Jiraiya explains what happened with the Konoha Crush plan and how Orochimaru escaped. And they now learn that the, sa that the, the sand, um, the Kaze Kage was not behind it but was actually murdered by him. The rest of the San Ninja who were free to go left and went back to the San Village. The Thorokage, however, was killed. When Naruto hears this, his eyes widen and he begins to cry. He thinks about all the things he's lost so far. His arm, the Thorokage, parents he's never known. And he decides that from here on out he's going to become the strongest that he can be. He then tells Jiraiya he has an idea. Jiraiya's eyes perk up and he asks about Naruto what he's thinking. He tells him that Jiraiya had told him that the third Okage was masterful in alchemy as well, correct? He then says, yeah. He then wonder, He then asks Jiraiya if it's possible if you would think that I could bring his soul back. Jiraiya one, thinks about this and then asks, tells me he doesn't know. When Naruto hears this, he's, he's sad. He then asks Jiraiya if there's anyone who could possibly know about something like that. He thinks about one person, Tsunade. When he hears about this, he remembers that Jiraiya had said that the Princess Tsunade, another student of the great 
third Okage, the god of shinobi, had also mastered or mastered alka history, a form of alchemy that could be used to heal people, much more efficient than just normal alchemy. When Naruto hears about this, he asks if they should go find her, and then Jiraiya said that was actually why he was waiting for him. He said that they were going to go find the next Hokage, the fifth Hokage. At this point, Naruto gets up out of his bed as if nothing happened and then put his clothes on. He puts on his normal orange jumpsuit as well as a new, his red cloak. The red cloak he has and his gloves are on now. He looks at, at Jiraiya with his long golden hair and tells Jiraiya he's ready to go. As, they all, as he wa walks out of the leaf village, suddenly, and without them knowing, two Akatsuki members enter the village. The two Akatsuki members actually begin to attack Kakashi, and Kakashi's out cold. Jiraiya and Naruto have no idea about this. Sasuke does, however. Knowing that his brother Itachi was in the leaf village and had fought, fought their sensei, Kakashi, he was, only, he was worried about Naruto and begins to run after them. Jiraiya and Naruto at this point are in that same hotel room when Jiraiya goes out for some research. Suddenly a knocks on the door, and Naruto opens it, and there stands Itachi Uchiha. If you guys want to see a part 8 to what if Naruto was an alchemist, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment below any suggestions, and if you guys want anything else in this channel, uh, then yeah, make sure to let me know. Uh, tomorrow I'll be posting what if Naruto had Nen, the next part of that, so if you guys are looking forward to that, then I hope you guys keep watching. I'll see you guys later, and bye. It's black and white.